good morning welcome to dot programming dot blogspot dot com today i will show you how to upload multiple files from the same page in asp dot net platforms okay so uh, this is the tutorial of the day you know uh, actually in this uh, tutorial i will take user post file as well as http file collection class actually http file collection class to capture all the files that are sent in with the request object okay this approach enable you to upload as many files as you want to for a single page so design a, a page in which we have three uh, file upload control and the button control in the button control work as a submit control so when we click on the button then these files are saved uh, in a particular directory which is defined in the path okay uh, if you are working with a limited number of files upload boxes this approach works but at the same time you may in certain cases want to handle the files if you work with the uh, single file i mean to say if file upload one dot has file and second for the file upload two dot has file and three file upload three dot has file it is this is done not right manner uh, if you have thousands of file upload control on a same page then how to handle this this is the simple thing uh, this is a complex task if you handle each file upload control separately okay so uh, remove these things uh, to handle the file upload control separately so use http file collection class to handle all file controls file upload controls in a uh, single manner okay so here we have a http file collection class hfc is a uh, instance name by using the request dot files we can get all the files from the from a single page okay uh, so by one one by one we can get uh, we can get all files so use the for loop uh, for loop and fc uh, hfc dot count i mean to say three files in the page so the count return the three okay so http posted file is object uh, sorry http posted file a class uh, which is written about the user posted file i mean to say uh, user selected files give the in, uh, introduction uh, information about the posted file of the user so hfc of i in which you uh, you select the first file second file and third file when you select the file then uh, you want to retrieve the information about the file so get the content type content length and location where you want to save your file so first of all check your uh, content length is um, greater than 0 or uh, posted file if the content length is greater than 0 then you can uh, find the information about the uh, posted file so after uh, getting the value of the posted file or you can say after getting the information of the posted file you can print the information on a label control so put a label control and in a label control you can put your information on it okay In the later videos uh, tutorial, I will uh, show you how to placing the uh, placing the uploaded files into a stream object. But in this tutorial, I will take uh, multiple files on a single page. So label one dot text plus equals to I means to say concat that label with that uh, string type file content type. So SPF I mean to say posted file dot content type get the content type and the BR for the line break. Similarly for the content length, I mean to say the file size. So 
so what the file size refer to the SPF is SPF dot content length file size SPF dot file size oops it's netting a file name it's not a file name actually that is the file size sorry content length content length okay now again use the br tag now save your file on a particular locations where your file path is defined e drive upload folder so level 1 dot text equals to file name getting the file name spf dot file name plus br for line break now save your file on a location spf dot save as method spf dot file name or oh sorry save as on which path you want to save that is defined in above file path plus double slash for uh, your um, absolute path system dot io dot path dot get file name which is uh, exist in the um, posted file dot file name spf dot file name that's fine now print that location on a label control also so uh, that's the thing to save your multiple files uh, which is exist on a single page uh, in a folder or you can say directory so without any use of the file upload one dot has file uh, that types of the thing that thing is not available in uh, ASP.10 2.0 so that thing is available in ASP.10 4.0 4.5 and later on so keep watching my all other video tutorials uh, if you want to learn about file upload control and also sub uh, also subscribe my channel if you want to learn more about ASP.NET uh, I promise you I will pro uh, I will provide you better video tutorials of ASP.NET to uh, ASP.NET web form and you learn better uh, from my channel because uh, I will giving you and I will give you more about more information about ASP.NET so uh, because the current version of the ASP.NET is ASP.NET 1.0 that is the ASP.NET 1.0 core that is the latest version and uh, suddenly I will provide you that video tutorials of the ASP.NET core 1.0 so please keep watching my all other video tutorials which is related to ASP.NET web forms so right click on it and run your uh, web page and see your output so thank you thank you very much